Good afternoon, everybody. Calm back here in Lincolnshire. One of the flattest places around. There's not much in the way of hills around here, but I am coming up to the top of the biggest one. They call it World's Top, I think, or Normanby Hill, something like that. Um, I mean, it's not very high. It's only about 400 foot up. <laughs> it's quite... Um, as hills go, it's not much of one. You're not going to get worn out climbing to the top of this one. You might get bored, but you won't get worn out. But, as well as coming down it because it's got a cracking little road with a lovely new surface on it, um, this gets much better further down there, but uh, and you'll see quite a few bikes on it, no doubt, or I will. Here's one now, look. But what I'm actually doing is coming down here to show you a thing that I just saw through the bushes. The camera may or may not pick it up. I've, I say that a lot. This camera has a habit of making things look much further away than they actually are. But it's, um, it's quite easily visible from here. And it's a thing called Claxby Radar. So I'm going to pull up alongside it, stare at it for a bit, and let you have a look. And see if you can guess what it is. I mean, I've given you a clue by uh, saying it's called Claxby Radar. Now then, is it here? Mm, no. It's there. Never sure which turn off these little things are. And off the uh, off the nice surface roads onto the horribly bumpy ones. <laughs> Not forgiving suspension. So there it is. That is Plaxby radar. Looks like a big golf ball on a very very large tee. as I come down here and stare at it, see if you can guess what it's for. One thing it's for is uh, video intros. I have to remember to put my intro that has this in the background on this video. How's that then? big thing isn't it? So I've done this game before uh, with players at Ottringham. So I played the game I asked people to guess what uh, what it was at Ottringham which was a air traffic thing. It was a radar, uh, sorry radar, radio station. Um, VOR as they call it. So that one was basically a, a ring of aerials and it gives out two signals using radio a little bit like a lighthouse and then any plane that's got the right equipment can use it to work out where they are this is the other way around this is Claxby radar it's actually part of the national uh, what is it national air transport service something like that uh, NATS as they call it and um, NATS is the system that you can call up from your aircraft and say, can I get a service, please? Can I get an information service or a radar service? And this thing, now you definitely won't be able to see, but there's actually a, an aeroplane just flown beyond it. This thing is a radar station. So all of the aircraft within its range are being monitored by this. So in there is all the radar equipment. It used to have a spinning dish on the top and it used to have some other dishes on the various platforms down the side, but now it's just a big golf ball. But it's, um, yeah, basically it monitors all these and with another, I think there's another 13 of them around the country. It's the UK NATS service. Tracks every aircraft in UK air airspace. So you know what's going on. I didn't realise it had all this solar panelage I suppose it makes sense. It's a nice flat area. You get a bit of sunshine on it. You might as well get some free electric. Quite a bit of solar panelage. 
I will be being monitored to look and being recorded for the pers purpose of crime prevention and public safety and this is one of those situations where you really want to keep people out I mean, they've got the big fence and they've got the uh, barbed wire you certainly don't want people getting over there and, and fiddling with that thing because it would make all those aircraft be in a less safe position oh, that's quite a nice little thing there you go What's uh, clack Claxby radar station Nats obviously not too worried about you knowing where it is because I've actually put the uh, latitude and longitude on there <laughs> I suppose you've already found it haven't you yeah bit of fun now I'm off to see some more radio wave based stuff this is radio wave for monitoring I'm going to go and look at some communication stuff as well um, but yeah this is the thing basically just that little aircraft that's going across there now that I can see and again you probably can't this thing will be firing out a pulse of radio waves and what bounces back and gets detected gets turned into a little blip on somebody's monitor probably somewhere around Humberside Airport which is kind of over there-ish used to use this a little bit when I used to go flying when we'd go and ask for a flight information service not a radar information service uh, radar information they tell you exactly what to do a flight information service they give you if you can get it these are all free services when you're up there but if you can get it if they've got the manpower to give you it it's a nice little service where they say to you have a look in your three o'clock a thousand feet below you will see whatever and you can make sure you're not going to crash into somebody else and if you can't have that service well you're on your own up there it's all linked up as well to transponders in the aircraft so a lot of aircraft don't have a transponder they'll just be a little blip on a screen somewhere we used to have a little transponder which is a, a box inside the aer airplane that when it gets the radar signal it fires back a signal with a number so you'd ride around, or ride around you'd fly around with 7000 uh, on your transponder and then you'd ask for information service and they'd say yep no problem squawk 3247 and you'd dial in 3247 and then on their screen they could see 3247 ping back at them it's all very clever and there's all of the numbers in there in the 7000 range for my radio is broken so you can actually tell people your radio is broken yeah if you're through your transponder because it's a different radio or i've been hijacked pretty unlikely in a little two-seater aeroplane if you're up there by yourself but you know hijra hijacked by a wasp or something um, and various other signals that you could give very neat anyway I thought I'd show you that while I was down here to look at another couple of things so hope you enjoyed it how many of you guessed right thanks for watching everyone ride safe and I'll talk to you all again soon <laughs>